Hi there. Back for you to paint again. Um, give you a little backstory on this painting. This is a uh, 12 by 24 deep canvas. I have two previous videos posted. I painted these shoes in one and these in the second one. Took about a half an hour each. Tonight we're moving on to pair number four. Um, just so this doesn't throw you, I did tone the canvas in red paint. And uh, my intention is to have this red peeking through here and there. You can see it in the shoes. You know, there's traces of it there. Even though none of this is finished. This is all kind of the block end. Let me show you my setup. I spin you around. I know you're cockeyed, but that gives you an idea. The ones on the left are really wild, aren't they? And um, again, this is a deep canvas, so I will not be framing it. I moved you over to the right side thinking that would be better. I had you over here, but my hand would have been right in the camera. And I know this isn't ideal. You're a little far from it. Let me see if I can move the canvas over some. Maybe that's a little better. I put you closer. Um, and then we're going to decide about everything else. I am thinking I'm going to lay some things in the foreground. I looked around for some things tonight. Let me show you what I may be thinking about doing and see what you think. I got myself sandwiched in here. Hold on. I'll just bring you over with me. Okay, I, a few people mentioned pearls, and I am thinking maybe I'll lay some pearls in the foreground. And I might even um, do a compact. I'll open it and some lipstick. So maybe, maybe those items. Let me know what you think about that. Um, I'll lay the pearls. I've spread them out. You know, I'll be messing with the pearls a while. Might even use them to direct your eye into a particular pair of shoes if that's what I want to do. So, but I'm not there yet. So, not to get ahead of myself. I'm just enjoying the process. All right, let's start blocking these in. Uh, this pair of shoes. I don't know. Did you get a look at them there? They're the blue ones on the end. They're um, fabric. The center, as you can see, the inside is really nicely lit on the one. And they're, I don't even know how to describe them, kind of draped fabric. It kind of crisscrosses at the toe. So I just like painting shoes. I always have. And I think it's a fun subject. Like I said, I've done a lot of baby shoes for some reason. I like little, they're just little baby's feet. What's cuter than a little baby foot, you know? So I've done a lot of little shoes, but, and high heels are sexy. All right, so I've mixed, I pre-mixed up some, uh, some different colors. I think I'll start with the darkest part of the shoe that I see. I sketched this in charcoal initially and maybe should have wiped it off a little bit better you know so it kind of can resist your paint and make it a little difficult to get paint on there so this is ultramarine and um, transparent red oxide which with this limited palette is the darkest dark i can get and maybe a little too dark even but This pair of shoes is going to be right, right by the edge, but it won't be framed. So I figured this, you know, a fun subject and uh, a somewhat bigger painting. No hurry to finish it gotta paint something if you love painting so and I sure do a 
right now I've just got a dark background behind it and a lighter covered, uh, light colored cloth down in here. The soles of these are even light, kind of golden. If you're an artist, tell me what you're working on right now. What's your favorite subject to paint? I said it just kind of crisscrosses here at the toe, so. And these are snake skin, and I know they don't necessarily appear that way, but. I don't know that I want to to detail them that much, but I am sure not done, so you never know yet what I'll end up doing. Oil paints are so fun if you've not ever used them. You know, you can get his, um, lay them on it really thick and I think they're fun. Gooey and gooey and fun. I say the nice thing about oil paints is they blend. The bad thing about oil paints is that they blend. You can just be a, a long way into your painting and just, well, you can wipe them off and start over, blend them into, just rub them all together. I think they're very forgiving. But they're not for everybody. dark.
I started out with five pair. I have a red pair too that uh, actually I painted those by themselves a while back. Started out thinking I'd do five pair, but it just seemed like too much. I played and played with the setup, and uh, this just felt better. Shoes are fun to paint if you've never painted them. At least I think so. All right, I'm looking inside. I'm getting a variety of lighting going on here. Actually, that might be too light. I'm catching some real bright light right in there. And it's really bright. Let's put the lightest parts in first and then we'll judge. Really bright inside here. This brush is pretty big for what we're doing. There, we're going to pull that off. trying to stay with this big brush as long as I can. Keeps, keeps you looser. These are Rosemary and Company brushes, by the way, out of the UK. This is the Evergreen series, a long flat. So it's pretty good size. It's a, uh, it says it's a six. Gives you an idea, pretty big. If you want to be loose, which for a lot of people that's their goal, you know, stay with the biggest brush that you can handle for as long as you can. You can always tighten down. And again, I, I, my goal is to be loose when the painting's finished, but you know, if you're a realist even, you can start the way I start and just keep tightening up. I mean, you can take it however you want, what direction you want. I 
just playing around, kind of trying to get a gray color. That looks more green. So if you want to kill a green, you go for the complement. You always do that, and uh, which would be red, and that grays it. oils you can come back in and kind of carve into them which is nice like this glob that I put here see I can pull right into that and get that as tiny as I want again just kind of carve into it Just keep adjusting, and I can do that right on the canvas, you know. You know, if it needs to be more yellow, I can throw some yellow in it and uh, blend it right on the canvas. get out of actually a very small brush because I don't really have anything here that's kind of in between and the sole on these shoes is very light can see um, and I'm not sure how it will look in the painting but I can see this heel back here it's light on the inside and blue on the outside And again, when we um, paint the background in, we can clean up a lot of things. You know, I'll want to uh, create some negative space in there so you can tell what that is. Or maybe it won't work at all. We'll have to decide. some phthalo blue, which is a very intense blue. I've introduced that a few other places in the painting. kind 
I got my view blocked of the shoe with this camera. I mentioned in one of the other um, recordings that uh, I was just surprised how expensive some of these thrift store shoes were. I mean, some of them were $8. Like I said, I find it hard to believe they sell many of them. You know, and I just want them for props, so. Kind of expensive, huh? I actually have a whole cover full of props, all kinds of things. Every now and then I break down and clean them out. But uh, we'll see. I may not even show that heel. I have to decide if it works or not. Still using the same brush. This first time I've rinsed it since we started. I tend to just wipe it off. I don't mind if the colors intermix. Something to be said for that, I think. Got a hunk right there. Again, if you're an artist, tell me what medium you work in. I would, I'd love to hear about you. Where are you from? What do you like to paint? Ask me any questions you've got. I'd love to help you if I can in any way. We've got quite a bit of red peeking through. Um, of course, we're not near a finished painting, but I want to leave some of it. So I have to decide how picky I want to get with these. Um, how much detail I want. You know, there's kind of a ruffled edge here on that piece in the middle. Of course, there's um, 
some a kind of name written in there. That's true for all of them, you know. trying to suggest some of this fabric. I don't use a medium, but you can. Um, they make all kinds of mediums for the water mixable oils. I use a little tiny bit of water if I want to thin them, but I'm not doing that. I'm using just straight out of the tube. These are cobra. Most of these are cobra. 
which are high quality, really nice. If you're going to try them, you might not want to initially invest in the best ones if you're learning, but later on I would. Okay, I'm looking to see where light's hitting. and walking around in some of these heels. Women don't wear heels as much, I don't think now, do they? Years ago, I wore them all the time. Of course, <laughs> I'm a little older and I'm more into comfort now. My feet don't like them so much. I tried all kinds of setups. I uh, had some backwards and some forward and settled on this. Maybe we'll go ahead and mix up a, a darker color and block in some of the background before we quit here. Some ultramarine, and transparent red oxide. Let's block in some shadows first where we see them. So I'll have to decide about that heel. I don't even know if that makes sense for it to be in there. I'm going to wipe it out for now. Let me think where it would be. 
Yeah, maybe. see about where that hits, that background, right about there. Now I am going to put a little water in this because it's such a large area to cover. And just because I'm putting this on doesn't mean this is what we'll end up with. conscious of the red back here, you know, I don't want to cover it all up. careful when you're painting around things too that you don't um, create hard edges. That's a nice thing about working wet into wet if you get the opportunity is you can you can soften edges and pull pull edges back out and then if it's completely dry then sometimes you have to uh, go back in and re-wet things. And you don't want to, like like that stroke I made there, you don't want to leave a stroke like that. You want to be careful of that and conscious of that. That's like sometimes painting uh, trees. Sometimes people will mirror buildings with a tree shape. They don't, I don't know that they mean to do that, but it's something that people do. You know, you'll have a building in the tree, you just follow the shape of the building. There's a part of our brain that's always wanted to organize things and line things up, and you got to watch for things, your weak points and things that you do. and. like fence posts if, you know, we'll line them up and space them out perfectly. If left brain, right brain stuff, you know. With the crazy year we've had, I just haven't had even a lot of opportunities to exhibit any place. And I have passed up opportunities too because they don't have openings and I maybe that's just a bad attitude. I think what's the point? There's not even an opening. You know, they have it online, the show. Matter of fact, I could have been in a show right now and I regret it a little bit. But I have a website if you want to check out my work on there, just my name. It'll, it'll be in the description box below, barbarapass.com. And everything on there is I uh, sell and framed. But they're all, most of them anyway, are um, standard sizes to frame. We're going to take that, I think, down into there. And I'm going to. I can see, you know, some adjustments that I'm going to have to make to the shoes now that I'm getting the background in there. I 
those black shoes are cute, aren't they? I wasn't sure how exciting they would be to paint, but I think they're cute. You know what else I like is little, um, like galoshes, you know, little rubber boots. I was looking at some of those too at the thrift store. I'm bringing this on down because I think it'll look better. Yeah, see, I'm going to, I have red peeking through there. I'm going to go ahead and make that black. do some adjustment to that shoe in the back too. Looks like it goes up to about there. That's why I say you can't really judge till everything is in and I get everything blocked in and then I decide how I need to adjust things. And there may be a lot of adjusting. I mean, it may go on for a while. What's the hurry, right? Got quite a bit of water in that right now. I added more white, lighten it up. to look at this shoe in the background again. The toes hidden behind the other one. Visit that. Yeah, some doesn't feel right, but it was really hard to see that till I had it blocked in. Well, it's a good stopping point, I think. Um, Yeah, I'm pretty happy with all these, well, I mean, little tweaks I got to do, but I've got to take a look at that shoe back there. Um, you know, if we're seeing this, I think I've, I think I've shifted this one is what I've done, because I'm not seeing the toe of this shoe, but I don't know, I've got to revisit that. But 
we made some headway, I think. You know, got the last pair blocked in and uh, a wash on the background. So it's coming. Yeah, I appreciate you taking time to, to watch. Um, if there's a subject you'd like me to paint sometime, you know, feel free to kick that out to me. I do a little bit of everything. Well, I'll stand up and show you where I am. I say, give me your thoughts on what I, like I said, I think I'm going to lay something in the foreground here, and I'm thinking about the pearls, and we could direct our eye in with the pearls if we wanted them to look at a particular pair of shoes, but I've got some of the red peeking through on every shoe. That was the advantage of toning the background. So if you haven't toned, think about that. That's one reason to do it. I think it, uh, let's get you back here. Hard to take it all in. And that's just a wash on the background. I'll be going over that again. But let me bring you in. You can see, see the red. You can see some of the red and you know, everywhere in every shoe. So I think that kind of helps pull it together. And then we'll be painting, of course, over the foreground, but uh, it's coming. Yeah, I'm enjoying this a lot, and I hope you are too. All right, I'll join you again soon. We'll move, just keep moving forward. All right, take care, stay well. Bye-bye.